thinking? I was thinking of Molière. La grande ambition des femmes est d'inspirer l'amour. Do we should speak some known language? The great ambition of women is to inspire love. Okay, so today's topic is dealing with one of the greatest mysteries that has been known to man. It's one of the greatest mysteries within the universe, and uh, it's one of those things where you think sometimes you know everything you need to know about it, but then you find out sometimes that you don't. What is that mystery, you ask? That's the mystery of womankind. For centuries, men have been contemplating this mystery. Men of valor, men of honor, and men of great magnitude of thought have considered this to be one of the greatest mysteries of the universe, if not, you know, one of the greatest mysteries of the known uh, multiverse, if you will. And that topic, if you ask, is about the mystery of the woman, what they think, what, how they act, the way they talk, and how does that affect us as men. So I'm going to talk about it. I remember when I was younger, I used to believe that I had this uh, impeccable logic when it came to women, just because of the fact that, uh, you know, when my father died, I was raised, you know, pr primarily by my mother and uh, a lot of her friends, and uh, you know, I thought over time, for example, that I had learned uh, specifically everything you really needed to know about women, and then all of a sudden I started dating, and you get to the point where you think you know something, and you really figure out you don't know anything. So one of the funniest things about this particular topic, when I started thinking about the mysteries of women, the mysteries of womankind, it's kind of like it was so hard for me to even think, like, where do I even begin with this question? You know, what is the question to begin with? And I guess one of the reasons that uh, it came to mind was, like I said before, there was a time where I thought I had this impeccable logic, I mean, clear-cut impeccable logic when it came to women. And then I kept finding myself in situations where Either I, you know, found that my logic wasn't as impeccable as I thought, or I found out that I just didn't understand, uh, you know, I guess women to begin with, and thus began this uh, quest, if you will, to try to understand what was it that I missed, and what is it that uh, intrigues me about this uh, issue in particular. So one of the things that uh, I guess kind of um, really began to make me think about this question was the fact that um, you know most of my life I've not really dated a whole lot. Um, I've only dated like certain types of women, and um, you know even those relationships in some cases I think um, didn't go the length in some issue because of the fact that there's a lot of things I didn't understand, even though like I said before I thought I understood, and um, you know I began to wonder. You know, if I really did have a better grasp on, you know, what the question really is, you know, what the mystery really is of women, then maybe I would have had, uh, you know, better relationships. Um, you know, but maybe because of the fact that I thought I understood more than I really did, um, you know, that may have been part of the problem. You know, but yet, once again, you know, it comes back to the question, you know, of, you know, what is it about, you know, women that is so intriguing? What is it about them that, uh, you know, makes men like me, you know, really try to grasp, you know, what it, you know, what it is to be a man in search for the right kind of woman for himself. You know, and I think maybe that's really the question. You know, what is the right kind of woman for me? And you know, if she's out there, where is she? You know, is it possible that one day when I'm looking at the stars and the moon, she's like looking at the sun, you know, somewhere else? You know, is it possible that you know I'm passing her by on you know the walkways and the the byways? You know, is it possible right now as I'm driving that she's like maybe a few cars ahead of me? You know, this is, you know, kind of a mystery that maybe is even bigger than the, the issue of uh, womankind itself.
right woman for me. You know, there was a time where I thought I knew what that was. I thought I knew what that really meant. And what I found was that many of the women that I was chasing after were really not women that were interested in me. So I began to think that maybe there was something wrong with women in general. Maybe they were the problem. You know, I mean, if they didn't notice, you know, me for being who I am, you know, the right guy supposedly for them, something was wrong with them. You know, but then I began to really think about this logically. Um, this is like between relationships, and you know, basically came to the conclusion that wait a minute, just because uh, a particular woman is you know someone that I like, just because she has qualities that I feel are beautiful, you know, um, something that you know could be in a good you know situation with me doesn't mean I'm the right guy for her. What right do I have to believe that you know she has to be with me just because I want her to be? What right do I have to believe that just because I think I'm a good guy that uh, any woman who's out there who's available should want to be with me? You know, and as I began to kind of contemplate these kind of questions, I began to see that there was a bigger mystery here in terms of women that really I needed to explore. So with this uh, jumping off point, with this, uh, I guess you could say, diving board into the pool of uh, the mystery of women, you know, now let's begin. This is part one, part two coming to you soon. This is Ehav Ever from the Chronicles of Ehav Ever. Don't you?